fellow that uh, doesn't have a whole lot. You need to laugh, someone lay one on you. I sincerely pray to my God that I die in my sleep like my grandpa. Not screaming and crying like those that was in the car with him. <laughs> hey, where are we going to start? Uh, Gerald Rowe, you're going to start, buddy. Kill G. We are.
satisfaction and comfort. But if you're miserable here poor, you'll be miserable here rich. Amen. <laughs> I tried so hard, my dear, to show that you're every dream. Yet you're afraid each thing I do just so evil scheme of every club you it's a fire of fire. Why can't I free your thoughts? I think you're cold, cold heart. And I'll be looking for my time. Make your heart sad and blue. And so the heart is paying down the things I did.
Did you hear what happened? Johnny! 
You're from Kentucky. <laughs> yes, I am from Kentucky. So, I'm gonna do Don't Touch Me and G. G. And G. You can help me all you want to, Susan. You okay. Ready? Ready? Your hand is like a torch. Each time you touch me. Don't love me, then act 
young lady? Jim, I'm going to do uh, Westphalia Waltz and uh, George. Yeah, George. Yeah, George. Let me try it. Maybe a little louder, maybe a little louder. A little bit, a little bit. Good one. He sometimes gives some embarrassing things and we <laughs> think we didn't make mistakes and we find out when we see the picture we did. <laughs> Thank you so much for being our friends. We appreciate it. Nice to be y'all friends. Is there any way you can take the sour notes out of it? <laughs> 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 you used to edit the mistakes out cold. No, <laughs> Brady went down by <laughs> We're studying. G. G.
lady, please.
showing him his boss. Nothing works when it's in his Congress said eight years is all you get. It's enough. Well, the Brits elected Churchill as their man in charge. And the H-bomb was the world's newest threat. The pledge and prayer we used to start each day of school. For God was still revered as number one. Well, bread was 16 cents and gas just three cents more. And that's the way it was in 51. There's so much about the good old days I'm glad to tell. And there's folks around I know who still remember well. Slow dancing close together when the ballad plays. Cause a thing called rock and roll was yet to come. It was a big year for the driving restaurant car hunt. And that's the way it was in 51. Oh yeah, Hank and Lefty crowded every jukebox. And that's the way it was in 51. The good old days will never say again. I've been uh, singing and making noise and all that stuff for, good Lord, 65 years or thereabouts. This is the first time I've ever, ever, ever been honored to have a thing I'm going to have right now. We have a young lady in our audience that is doing 90 years old today. Yesterday, I'm sorry. So she's 90 in one day now, huh? A very dear lady, so close to my heart. I love her very deeply. She could have been my mama, but she wasn't. Back, say, my dear. Stand it up, girl. Y'all rise for this lady, you understand? Bring her out of here. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. story real quick while we're doing this and then we're going to break. Um, there it went. Two years ago when I was diagnosed with cancer, I was sitting out on the side porch of my house down here feeling sorry for myself and having prayer and I said, God, you know, help me understand that you're here with me. Just do something. Give me some sign. Show me. Send me an angel. And I heard a pickup truck pull up in front of the house. This is not a no joke. Maxine got out of the truck with a little angel for my... And I thought, thanks a lot. <laughs> thanks a lot. Just needed that. So, Maxine, you're my angel. All of you stop by and give me your greetings. Thank you for being here, darling. Folks would be happy to know I'm not going to sing here. I'm here just as spokesperson here for Judy Brown. We all remember Big Jim Brown, who used to run the jam here. Well, this guitar it belongs to Jimmy. And Jimmy's not with us anymore. And Judy is moving out of the valley, uh, unfortunately. And she'd like to leave this guitar down here in the valley with somebody that would really appreciate it. And if you buy the guitar, you guarantee your boys get a little bit deeper. <laughs> we won't sell it to this girl either because she's the one her deep voice. <laughs> so anyhow, if you know anybody that's very interested in a real nice bass guitar, a nice case, two amps, and instruction books on how to run this thing, uh, Judy is selling it. Judy's just over here. So uh, if you know anybody, please come and kind of offer. Thank you. Miss Jeff. 
I have another uh, unusual incident happening to me today. I got a comedian that wants to tell a story, and uh, he threatened me with bodily harm. So when you see his size, you'll understand why I said it's okay. Steve? Okay. <laughs> I promised Cecil that I wouldn't sing. Uh, HEB has a court injunction against me for singing that they're afraid all their warehouses will run out of tomatoes if I try to sing. <laughs> but I do dabble in some cowboy stories, and uh, Cecil said I he'd let me share one with you. I was sitting around the house one day, and I was feeling a little silly. And I wrote a story I called the Mail Order Bride. I was sitting around the campfire, I reached over for another log, and then I flipped another page on my newfangled catalog. Why well, ain't never seen so many things that made it easy on life? My goodness, right down page 23, there's an ad for a store bought wife. Oh I throw that book down and put myself to bed, because I didn't need them ideas floating around in my head. I tossed and turned all night thinking about that book. First thing next morning, I had to have me another look. I planned a long winter chasing mavericks and putting my brand on their hide. But I give in to myself. I sent off for one of them male little brides. I built me a honeymoon cabin high up on the hill. Then one day they sent me a letter and said, your order has been filled. I rode to the railhead to meet that big black train. And when she stepped from that Pullman car, my dreams of hope and joy suddenly turned to pain. I knew right then my investment was a total loss. She looked like 40 miles of bad road. And her backside was four ax handles across. I took my patrol to the hostler to get her steam. He looked her over real good said, a ox in own wagon is what you need. <laughs> she sneered at him and cussed him and called him a fool, so I bought the next best thing, a big old Missouri mule. <laughs> Here comes that mule again. <laughs> she sneered at him and cussed him and called him a fool. <clears throat> well, that's when I bought the big old Missouri mule. We hadn't ridden about an hour from town, that big woman went rolling in the grass, for you see, folks, she had just broke the back of that big stout ass. <laughs> she was hollering and screaming, wanting something to eat, so I pointed her to the cabin, told her I was going to go hunt fresh meat. When I returned to my honeymoon home, it was very plain to see that the Indians had kidnapped my ugly bride-to-be. I hung up my kill and I laid down for some rest, knowing now that life would be getting back to its best. <laughs> but it weren't long I woke up kicking and screaming. You see, this has been a nightmare. I've just been dreaming. <laughs> Thank you. Right, this is good after all, right? Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Hey, Susan. How about the key of C? We will. That cake was pretty good. I'm telling you, I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, I know now that H-E-B has good cakes. Thanks That's you. very dangerous. Thanks very you. dangerous. You gave it to us, huh? Happy birthday, Maxine. She looks like she's about 50 or 60. How'd she do that? <laughs> Gee whiz. What's the crazy arms? You kick that off. Can't see Charlie. It's real. You'll 
little sights, it's hard to get it stopped. The song right there was a song that made Ray Price, Ray Price. We had a big one back in 56, 22 or 3 weeks of number one. I had a request to sing one yesterday, so I'm going to sing it today. I don't get many requests other than shut up. <laughs> Mr. Province, here's your song, buddy. G chord, y'all.
David D. David D. Yeah. All the weeks of a storm.
so easy. Yeah. Slowly and falling.
Oscar was that old sweetheart of mine. That's right, Lewis Marshall Jones, <laughs> Big Grandpa Jones. For a funny guy like he, that's a very serious subject. <laughs> um, give me a number, Larry. How about nine? Nine. That'd be Dave Smith. Dave, do I do the song here? Hey. Yeah. Give him a microphone that he can hold on to. <laughs> <laughs> I had the invitation that you sent me. You wanted to see, to see me change your name. I couldn't stand to see you with mother. But dear, I hope you're happy just the same. of roses, a blossom from an orange tree in your hair. While the organ plays, I'd love you truly. Please let me pretend that I am there. Satisfied you didn't write that, did you, Steve? <laughs> Give me a number, uh, David. Uh, 13. Uh, 13 be Tom Bell. Oh. Oh. Still over there? Try this microphone, it sounds better. You know. Okay. Key or win, bud? E. E is an easy. That old Jimmy Davis song called Makes No Difference Now. Right. Makes no difference now what kind of life faith has me. I won't get along without you complain to see.
I hope in uh, March the 6th we can bless you and try to give uh, a little appreciation back to you. Um, today we have two $16 pots. Better be me. I'm going to make somebody happy. <laughs> <laughs> be the first time in your life. <laughs> <laughs> Two, seven, three. Oh, you screwed up. <laughs> 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 I didn't make that happen. You went after that one. It's like two, four, Two. <coughs> uh, there it is. Uh, tonight, you know, they have a great gospel jam on the Carefree. It starts at 6. Uh, it's well worth going to. they got some great, great entertainers. Uh, we have our Cusick Jam Thursday at uh, 6. And Tropical Wind's got one on Friday at one to three. So, uh, you know, some great entertainers. And these jams are for you all, and to let you enjoy them. Uh, we just, uh, I personally want to thank uh, Dave and Susan for their generosity and cake and appreciation. But we'll continue on now. In the kid, Chief. You want to come up and help me out? Neither do I. <laughs> well, I'm tired and so weary.
What lock the door to the world you're living in? What kind of key do I need to get in? I tried anything, saw it for the sin. What locks the door to the world? Oh, uh... 